We may never see Xehanort again in Kingdom Hearts after August. Maybe. What's happening in August, you ask? Well, on August 26th, which is literally next week or even closer depending on when you're watching, Kingdom Hearts Dark Road is ending. It will be over. Done with. The story will be finished. Finally. On that date, August 26th, I'll be streaming my reaction to the entirety of the finale, so you should totally, you know, uh, subscribe and tune in. We're also really close to 25k, and I would really love to reach it soon if you guys want to, you know, help me out with that. But with the story ending, this brings up the question of if this will be the last we see of Xehanort in the Kingdom Hearts series. Perhaps at least for young Xehanort. Xehanort has been the central antagonist for most of the Kingdom Hearts franchise up to now, so seeing his story end will probably have a bittersweet feel to it, I'm sure, for some, though it will also feel relieving to others because we've been with the Xehanort character for 20 years just about, and characters like the Master of Masters and the Foretellers completely new characters being our antagonist in upcoming games, upcoming number titles, should be great. I mean, I say new even though they've been around for quite a while, but these characters have made most of their appearances in the Key Saga, so seeing them in newer titles will be pretty refreshing. It's like in a sport, seeing your favorite college or rookie player make the big leagues, which makes this, again, exciting. The Master and the Foretellers are going to be our main antagonists in the next arc, which includes Kingdom Hearts 4, which with new antagonists should be bring just a new, fresh feeling to everything. Now, Dark Road was a game that was created because Xehanort still had a big story to tell, and there's still a ocean of mystery surrounding him that should be answered or come full circle on Dark Road, which again, August 26th, we'll be streaming it, so hit that subscribe button. Xehanort's early years and ambitions are much of a mystery to fans, which is what makes this story a must-see, as I'm sure with the way Kingdom Hearts is, Nomura will tie whatever we see majorly into Kingdom Hearts 4, I'm sure, but will Dark Road actually be the last time we see Xehanort as a whole? Which, again, I would say, maybe, but probably not. I do think the majority of what Xehanort's story is will be wrapped up here, though I'm thinking Xehanort will have a role in the future where what he's done will still live on and have an effect on our characters today. I mean, how could it not? I don't think we'll be seeing him physically anymore, but I do think he'll be referenced perhaps quite a bit and may even linger on in places like Kairi's memories or Sora's, and I think he, as an apprentice, will have a role to play in the Subject X storyline. Essentially, I don't think this character is going to be forgotten by any means. He will live on, whether for better or for worse, through the characters that are already around in the Kingdom Hearts franchise, because all of them pretty much have some sort of ties to Xehanort. And based on the little we've seen from Remind and what we're probably about to see more of in Dark Road, Xehanort seems to have some connections to the Master as well, so once we get further context on that, we'll probably be able to even further contextualize how minimal we'll be seeing him in the next arc, or how minimal or much he'll be referenced. Right now, it seems like he was just a pawn in the Master's plan, but we'll see how it goes. When it comes to Xehanort, it seems like Dark Road is shaping up to be not just about his early years, though, as a key leader in training, but also touching up on things like how he and Ventus got affiliated, visiting old Disney World as his older self, so the story might shape up to be just a chronicle of Xehanort's life as a whole by the end of it, so we could be getting a lot more about Xehanort than we initially even thought. It's known that Xehanort is one of Nomura's favorite characters, and I think because of this, he's not going to cut any sort of corners when it comes to Xehanort's story and telling everything we should know about it, while also trying to tie things in nicely to Missing Link and probably Kingdom Hearts 4. And if Union Cross was any sort of measurement as to how good a story from this key saga can be, I truly do think we are in for a spectacular story, a really good time. It's going to be exciting to see, but it's also going to be kind of sad, because if this truly is the end of Xehanort's story, or at least the majority of it, it's kind of a chapter being closed, you know, on what was the villain for much of the Kingdom Hearts franchise, much of our experiences for Kingdom Hearts, and we'll be fully, fully diving into the next saga, with the exception of Missing Link, we gotta get through that too. But what do you think? How are you feeling about the Dark Road finale next week, and do you actually think this is the last we'll see of Xehanort? I want to hear 
what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, share it with a friend or family member, and last but not least, if you have not already and want to become a part of the union, all you have to do is have a real subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out, you guys. Bye. Now she's a daydreamer.